What's up, AC and Insiders? He is an actor, a rapper, a producer, but a lot more. I mean, now he has become one of the top-notch businessmen in the music industry. I'm talking about none other than Ice Cube, the man, the myth, the legend. He's right here. I know. I'm shocked. Just as shocked as you guys. But today, we're not talking about that too much. We're not getting into the career stuff too much. You're here in Atlanta for a different reason. The Big Three League. He has it on his shirt. Yeah. yeah. I got to be honest with you. You're not a basketball player. So no. why do you co-found a Big Big three, three on three league. Cause I'm a big basketball fan, you Ooh. know, and um, you know I, I love three on three. I grew up playing a lot of three yeah. on three, and most of us have, you know, more three on three than five on five. Uh -huh. But it hasn't been elevated to the professional level, so it's like, why, why not? Uh, and so then, you know, with that idea, I'm mm -hmm. like, yo, I see Kobe score 60 points in his last game, yeah. but it's his last game, so I'm like, why we can't see him play? No more. So I love that's that. where these two ideas kind of intersect, you know, bringing three on three to the professional level mm -hmm. and then going and grabbing former NBA players who who still got game. They got a lot of game left. And uh, it's, it's, uh, we're in our second season. And it's worked out well. Congratulations on the second season. So Thanks. we're talking all stars, journeymen, also NBA champions. So yeah. what's in it for the fans? Because I heard that uh, EA Sports and uh, possibly 2K, they're interested in creating a video game out of this. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's what's cool is it's a great game. I mean, for the fans, you know, seeing four games for the price of one is crazy. Seeing all yeah, these yeah, legends yeah. in the house, our, our coaches are Hall of Famers, uh, you know, like Dr. J and Iceman mm -hmm. and, and Gary Payton. And like you said, we got some great players. As far as a video game, to me, it's perfect for a video game. Uh, you know, uh, 2K and those guys, they they the top at it. So if we want to do a game, of course, we want to do it with them. Okay, so now we're going to transform the interview here. We are kind of moving towards a little bit of your career. We're going to touch on that, but I don't want to just do a regular interview. I want to ask you questions that have the theme of basketball. Now, i got to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't play sports like that. I mean, I'm a swimmer, I'm a dancer, but I don't get down with basketball like that. I like to watch it, but I can't play. Oh, but we're going to come watch it this Friday. Yes, this Friday we will be there. But let's uh, let's start with the first question, okay? We're going to call this one Alley Oop. Alley Oop, that's Alley -oop. saying it right, right? Uh, yeah. Alley Oop, that's what they say? Okay, so that's when a ball is near the rim and then another player assists and dunks it, right? Mm -hmm. So in your career, what is the highest Alley Oop that you've had when someone assisted you when you needed help? Oh, man, I guess, uh, you know, doing Friday with Chris Tucker, I guess, you know, work on him sort of an alley-oop. I guess we was alley-ooping to each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay, so the next one is come on ref. You know when they say you look at the, the game and folks are kind of, you know, going back and forth and something wrong happens and they're like, come on ref. Yeah. Okay, so at what point in your career would you say you made a call or made a career move that you just said, this was a bad decision? Uh, I guess, you know, what well, was a good decision? I guess I said come on ref mm -hmm. to Jerry Heller in NWA and left. So I guess that was a come on ref, good decision. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's it a good decision. Bad. And what about air balls? So obviously, you know, you were just in the media in the past 16 hours. Mm -hmm. um, talking about Dak Prescott, agreeing with him possibly. Um, so this one's called air ball. That's when you toss the ball or you shoot the ball rather, and it misses. Do you feel like the NFL is missing their shot on taking action with the social issues? I think we're going wrong. Yeah, I, I think the NFL has been kind of hit and miss, you know, for a long time. You know, I think they they get too far into issues they shouldn't be and they stay away from things that they should get into. So, you know, they've, they've been hitting and missing for a while. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you support the Dak, Dak, Dak Prescott? Well, I support any person's uh, right to do what the hell they want to do. Mm -hmm. That's what I support. I like so that, okay. If the boy want to stand up, let him stand. If he want to kneel, let him kneel. Want to lay down, let them lay down. Whatever mm -hmm. you want to do, <laughs> let them do it. You know, that's what this country is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be about freedom. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that you're an OG, but yet you still keep your eyes peeled to the field. You see the youngins coming up. So the next question is themed, who's got next? So you know in the game, you're like, who's up? Or, you know, who's in the game, rap? So who's got next in the rap game, you think? Oh, I have no idea. You know, uh, the rap game is always wide open. It's a free-for-all. You know what I mean? It's every man for himself. Yeah. It's more like a Royal Rumble or something like that. It's more WWE. So, you know, it's every man for himself. Do you feel like a lot of people are looking at the success that you've had with 
uh, NWA and, and CIA and trying to replicate that? Or do you see you mimicked in the industry right now? A group that looks um, like you? I mean, I don't know. I think we all feed off each other, you yeah. know. Um, I fed off the guys that came before me. And hopefully guys fed off of my career. Uh, and, you know, that's kind of how it works. You know, you kind of look at who come before yeah. you and you jump in there and try to do your version of it or, or something a little better. So, you know, um, I'm not surprised if it was guys that seen what I was doing and, you know, tried to duplicate it. Okay, and congratulations on your recent Hollywood of Fame star on the, yeah. on, the, on the Walk of Hollywood or the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Yes. Uh, tongue twister there. Okay, so this is my one of my favorite parts of the interview. You were trying to sneak peek at this earlier. And I was like, nah, you're not going to get get on with what we have working for you. But okay, so here is some voca vocabulary words. We want to see how well you know basketball and the vocabs and, you know, the terminology that the players use. Yeah. So first up, take it to the rack. Take it to the rack. What is take it to the rack? That's the easy. That's what we're I mean, I, don't, I, I saw know your the eyes. I don't need, I don't no, need you may not know this next one, but go ahead. I have my own answer. Take it to the rack. Take it to the rack. Take, take the ball to the basket. Hopefully dunk it if you can. That was an easy one. I did that on purpose. Okay. So this next one, I, I'm going to stump you. I know you don't know this next one. Barbecue chicken. Barbecue chicken is when you got somebody on you that you know you can serve, that you know you're going to get buckets on, and you turn them into barbecue chicken. And Shaquille O'Neal. I was just about to say, who Barbara coined it? Shaquille. I was going to say, Shaquille O'Neal coined it years ago. You are good. Okay, that means he's really going to know this next one. Okay, what's well, dropping dimes? Dropping dimes is a point guard reference to throwing an assist to another player. And if you're doing it a lot, you say, I'm, man, I'm dropping dimes. I'm just going through there, I'm dropping dimes. Okay, yeah, fancy way. Okay, okay. This one probably got something. 211. 211. I don't know what the 2 one, one is, you know. I want you a to think Chris Paul, LeBron James. Chris Paul, LeBron James. They, they do it a lot. I don't know what that is. They rob folks on the court. Oh, Robbing a 2 11. Oh, did I say it wrong? Don't be, a the audience 11. is laughing. We're I, just going to put this one away. Um, last one, uh, moving on. <clears throat> a dagger. <laughs> a dagger is yeah. the shot that you make and basically wins the game. It's over after this shot, heart, dagger, there you go. You really are a fan. Okay, well, okay, well, that wraps up that portion. Now we have one more quick speed round, and uh, we, we thought you were really going to like this one. So this is Ryan Dennis, our AC producer, but you got to turn around so he can see it first. <laughs> okay. See, that's cute. It's, so we're calling this between ice cubes, okay, ice cube? And we got one minute on the speed round here. So as you guys can see, we have a bucket of ice cubes, and ice cube is at the top of all the ice cubes. So that'll be cute. So we just have a little speed round on top of some ice cubes. So first question, favorite on-camera love interest? Uh, favorite on-camera love interest? Mm -hmm. um, I don't even remember having any love interest on camera. Uh, Okay, okay, move That's on. A bad one. This is yeah. a speed one. Okay, so favorite music video ever? Favorite music video ever? Uh, I guess I would say Thriller. You know, that was a crazy video. That was like insane. Okay, true or false? There is a trilogy to the Friday series happening. Any plans to go on tour in the future? Um, on tour? Mm -hmm. With Friday? With Friday. No. Junk it somewhere? Well, yeah, I mean, tour. Like arena tour, no, but of course pumping the movie tour, yes. So there is. Yeah. Of okay. Course. Okay. Uh, favorite beverage over ice cubes? <laughs> Man, uh, I guess I would have to say, uh, 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 man, Hennessy. This is a local news show, and you said Hennessy. Hey, Hennessy. Okay. All right. A couple more. Okay. You so said, my, is it my favorite I mean, or is it your favorite? I mean. I got okay. an audience to protect. Right. They're they, they going to look at me all crazy. Like, all Hennessy. Right. Francesca was with that. Hennessy. Okay. Y'all know y'all want a little <laughs> shot of that. Okay. I Almost. thought you were sick. <laughs> Just kick back. A couple more questions. So we open your phone right now. We got the emojis. What's the last emoji that was used in your phone? What's your favorite emoji that you use? Uh, I used the flag for flag on the play because I had told somebody something. It was wrong. So I always say flag on the play and change it. Now, this one, listen, I need you to be careful with what you say, but yeah. this next one, what's your favorite curse word? We've heard you say a lot. 
It starts with mother, okay. and I'll let you finish the rest. <laughs> Okay, last question for you, Icey, before we wrap up. I know you have a three-on-three -three league, but would yes. you ever team up with LeVar Ball? He has one as well. To do what? A three-on-three -on -three league. Uh, like man, a, in conjunction. Look, I don't have enough time in the day. I'm dealing with mine, he's dealing with his, and hopefully he wish me good luck because I'm wishing him good luck. Well, we wish you good luck. Thank you. Tomorrow, I know so many fans are going to be there. Oh, yeah. Anything else you want to tell our AC insiders before you wrap up? I mean, come see the big three. Four games for the price of one. Some of the favorite NBA players ever still doing it. Thank you so much. All right, AC insiders, you just wrapped an interview with Ice Cube. Yeah, yeah.